Those wondering just how good Apple C1 modem is, the tests are finally in. It's been a pretty big deal for the company to switch away from Qualcomm, and we have heard some claims that the C1 is in some points inferior because, yeah, it lacks millimeter wave. Though in Apple's defense, let's be real, carriers haven't done a good job deploying it, and where I have found signal, it's not like if I've been able to download a movie in seconds given carrier throttling. That said, those curious about performance itself, Ookla just provided some insights. The company behind speedtest.net did a recent test with some interesting results. Overall, the Qualcomm modem tested faster, but when network speeds are good, it seems Apple C1 modem does a far better job when network conditions are poor. For example, in areas with slow connection, the iPhone 16e had better speeds than even the regular iPhone 16. Now, on the other hand, when networks were strong, the iPhone 16 performed better. We also hear T-Mobile in particular showed the iPhone 16e had slightly slower speeds, which could be due to the lack of full carrier aggregation support right now on Apple C1. Though, that being said, just take all the tests with a grain of salt, as Google is not necessarily known for the full reliability of its test. Now, as for the future of Apple's modems, reports also claim that the C2 chip is in the works for the iPhone 18 Pro models, though we're not sure if this will be the integrated model that also fits in Apple's 8 chips or not. I'm curious to know how you feel about this in the comments, because listen, I've been testing the iPhone 16e on Verizon, and it performs great in both connectivity and endurance. Oh my god, the endurance is just great.